Hey Gator Horse Riders, how's it going? Hope your summer is going well. Today we're going to talk about the myth of the high-headed gated horse. Let's take a look. So many times I go to a clinic or I have people come for lessons or I get emails or messages on Facebook and people ask, why are you trying to get the horse's head low? I mean, aren't horses, gated horses supposed to have their head high? Isn't that what we're supposed to see? Uh, and I get this asked a lot or I hear, well, my trainer said this or where I got the horse, they said it's supposed to be like this. So I'm just gonna go through what I believe are a few myths of why gated horses are supposed to be, have high heads and I'm gonna talk about why, really briefly, why I think lower heads are better. All right, one of the reasons I hear that gated horses should have their head high is because they're not quarter horses. So, quarter horses are supposed to have low heads just like a lot of horses need to have low heads so they can lift their back, so they can use their shoulders, and so that they can balance properly. It doesn't matter what breed, it, it, just because it's not a quarter horse doesn't mean that they need to have their heads high. Um, so, correct, I don't want him to look like a peanut roller quarter horse, but I also want him to have his head low and be balanced and relaxed. Myth number two. One of the reasons I often hear people say that we have to have high heads or, is because we've always done it that way. Or, I've done it that way for 30 years. Or, take your favorite phrase of, we've just been doing it that way forever. That's a horrible reason to keep doing something. I mean, if it works, and if it's the right way, sure, but in today's world, we look at technology and things changing so fast, we look at the fact that we do natural horsemanship and everything is changing. So that's not a good reason to just do things the same way we always have. Myth number three. A lot of times I hear people say, well, that's how they do it in the show ring. Well, if we think about it, the standards for showing horses or the standards for winning in the show ring are set by people and judges, and judges change all the time. We look at other shows like Quarter Horses or you think about the Tennessee Walking Horses and the Big Lick, and everybody knows those are not good show standards. So why are we trying to measure ourselves by something we already know is very fallible? So I think that saying that this is how they do it in the show ring is a really poor way to judge if we're doing something correctly. Myth number four. A lot of people say that's the only way you can get them to gate is with their head high. That's the only way. I was told that when I first got started, but with the training I've done and the videos that I've shown and the horses I've worked with, it's clearly not true. So that one really can just be thrown out right away because it's, it's, not, even, it's not even true. It doesn't even work. It's not valid. You know, it doesn't matter. Myth number five as to why your horse should have a high head. I hear this one a lot. People say, well, he's just naturally high headed or the way his head comes out of his neck or his neck comes out of his shoulder. It's supposed to be that way. That's not true either. It's possible that your horse does have a higher headset than a different horse, but that doesn't mean that either of those horses need to have their heads up in the air. That's just, again, when they have their head up that high, it means that their back is hollow, they're not using their hind end, they're strung out, and it's really bad for them in the long run. So clearly that's not a very good reason either. So what, what do I recommend? Well, I don't recommend you have a high-headed gated horse. Uh, unless you're planning to show, there's exceptions there, but if you're trail riding, the lower your horse's head, the more balanced he'll be, the more relaxed he'll be, the better he'll be able to see his feet and be more sure-footed. Now that doesn't mean that he has to have his head on the ground all the time, but it does mean that we don't want his head up in the air, and I don't think that's very good for your horse, and I think you'll find in the long run that it's always better to have the horse stick his nose in front of the camera. <laughs> ah, what do you do? All right, Emmett. I do think in the long run that it's better to have a relaxed horse and not a high-headed horse. And those are just my reasons why I don't think you need to have a high-headed gated horse.